Good morning and welcome to another Ignite Purpose Weekly Devotional. I hope you had a great weekend and you're ready for another great week. Today I'm going to talk about hearing from God. So many times I talk to people and they say, you know what, I just don't hear God's voice. And the people that do hear God's voice are a little whacked. But the fact is that God is speaking. We may not have our antenna up high enough to know that we can hear, but in fact, he's speaking anyway. It's just a matter of whether we want to make that connection. The fact is that you will not hear from God if you don't take the time to build your relationship with him. He again is there waiting for you to spend time to hear him. The one thing I do, in listening prayer and with our here journaling method is challenge people to spend time in the Bible but again give yourself enough space that you can calm down so many times people take their devotional time and they spend 15 minutes do a quick reading check the box and move on with their day sadly that doesn't always fill the bill Oftentimes, it just leaves you feeling empty, and it does give you a false sense that God won't speak to you because you feel like you're putting time in, in devotions, you're reading the Word, and you're getting nothing back. So I think a lot of Christians just, they stay flat because they can't give enough space to actually calm down. So the first step in hearing God's voice is to calm down. If that takes you five minutes, awesome. In my case, it often takes 15 minutes just to listen to praise and worship and calm down. Find a place where I actually can be peaceful. Forget about the things that are pulling me, the busyness of the day. I do it in the morning when I'm hardly awake so that I can truly have peace and, and wait and listen. Two, I actually use the Bible. I jump in the Word. For years I, I would read devotionals from other people and sometimes I would get great epiphanies and be led to act in new ways and better ways but oftentimes it again it would leave me flat. So what I do now is I actually read the Bible and I spend time reading a verse and Usually it's a passage, it's not just one verse, because a lot of times we read a verse and we think we're good, but in fact, the context around that verse is leading us in a different direction. So I'll read a longer passage now, and inevitably something jumps out at me. I can't say it's like the words jumping off the page or my heart flutters, but usually I'm intrigued by a passage, a verse in that passage that jumps out a little bit more than the others. I use a website called easyenglishbible.org. It's a really easy way for a guy like me who isn't as studious as others to just get the context around verses and passages and really understand who it was written to and why it was written. And it really helps me to understand the passage and the verse itself. Then the big challenge comes to apply it to my life for that day. And if God does speak, which I believe he does, if the Bible is the tool that he speaks through, which I believe it, it is, then you need to be able to do something with it. And when you can apply it, life gets fun. Life gets real in Christ. So applying it is critical and then responding. The last part of the here journaling method is to respond. Respond in prayer. God, thank you for that verse. Thank you for opening my eyes. Maybe I don't get it yet, Lord, but please direct me today and lead me down a path that will be honoring to you and a blessing to me and open up my heart and my mind to a new direction in you. So God does speak. You just have to make the time to listen. So. I pray that that was an encouragement that you'll actually make more time for God this week. Just start with one time, one day. 
I do it now on a daily basis and I can't wait to do it. And, and I've been doing this for over 20 years and I got to tell you, this is the first time that I'm excited about getting up in the morning and getting into the Word. So he does want to speak to you and today might be the day, might be the first day that you hear from God because you opened up your ears. I pray that this is an encouragement. Have a great week and we'll see you again next week.